Let's get weird. In an attempt to get the entire Kingdom Hearts series on one system, Square Enix released Kingdom Hearts 1.5, which is the first three games in the series, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, and the final game we'll get to in a moment. Now let's start with Kingdom Hearts 358 slash 2 days. Now this game is technically on the disc, but only in the form of cutscenes. They didn't bother putting any of the gameplay in there. Personally, this seems incredibly lazy to me. I can watch cutscenes on YouTube. I don't need a PlayStation disc for that. If they were just going to put the cutscenes on it, they could have used this disc space to add extra content to the other two games. Now, while not a negative, it does need to be brought up as something that could have been done differently. However, that said, let's move on to the actual games. Kingdom Hearts Final Mix and Rechain of Memories. Now some people give Square credit for having extra content in the final mix. Personally, I do not, because this is how the game should have been released. And in the Japanese market, it is how it was released. However, the United States and European markets got a slimmed down version. In fact, Square has a history of releasing either pared down or even not releasing games at all to the US and European markets. In fact, the first Final Fantasy game that Europe got their hands on was Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. What the fuck, Square? Now getting to the final mix, it's still fucking awesome. It's just as good as it was back in the day. It has aged incredibly well. I will say though, the final mix has made a few improvements. First and foremost being, the camera is much easier to control than it was in the PlayStation 2 version. And the combat animation seems a lot more fluid than it used to be. Going from move to move is not nearly as hard as it was before. Now granted, there are some things that are still kind of buggy. But it's seriously nitpicking to try to poke out each individual thing. It's clear that a lot of work was done shoring up the code for this game's re-release. Now the looks have been polished, but they haven't been updated per se. Let's give it a side-by-side -side comparison. Now moving on the rechain, personally I will never understand why they made a change from the traditional fighting style from the main series to the pseudo card game style of combat. It's incredibly jarring and it's it's not bad, it's just different. Now I'm not going to get into the story right at the moment because this is a game that first of all is very easy to spoil if you say the wrong thing and secondly it's not done yet. Kingdom Hearts 2.5, the rest of the story is coming. In fact, it's being released this December. Now, of everything I've just said, overall, I give this game a 3.5 out of 5. I feel it's above average, but if they had done a little bit more to make it more than just a port, I think it would have ranked much higher up. It's really worth buying, but it's not as good as it could have been. That said, I enjoyed my time playing the game, and I believe you will too. Until next time, my name is Vega Goose saying thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next review.